Hey, hey, y'all. Me again. I am chilling on the other side of my living room. I'm going to, when I say read to you the, the blog that I'm about to write, uh, I have a couple bullet points. I just smoked my bowl. Family guy on the screen right there. And some tunes in the background and I'm just gonna roll with it cause that's how I am. So welcome to vlog number three. Topic, influencer marketing. I'm excited to talk about this. It was a cute little week for me this week. One of my favorite publications, The Washington Blade. America's longest standing LGBT chronicle, I believe. Uh, this is the 50th year of its existence. Pretty, pretty long standing, I would say. Released the nominees for this year's Best of Gay DC Awards and drum roll, who was nominated for a second year in a row for Best Local Influencer, then yours truly. I'm super stoked about it. Uh, number one, it's just, it's nice. It's, it feels really fucking good to be recognized for work. Um, especially if you're like me and you're totally obsessed with work. I said it out loud, I'm kind of obsessed with work. I love what I do. I get to know me, or I'm sorry, I get to do me. I, I don't know, I don't know how, how to explain it. I, just I get to like play around with my interests all day and create with them and it's a blast so I want to talk to you about influencer influencer marketing it's a, kind of a hot topic du jour often um, you hear jib jab chatter jokes uh, well well articulated observations completely unrelated observations so crazy um, how something as simple as a marketing execution tactic um, that describes a professional execution for a specific type of individuals who curate audiences, carry clout, and exhibit knowledge expertise in the things that they're saying or expressing or showing. I have had opinions about these things, um, this way, that way, whatever. And where I'm at right now is that I love having this title as part of what I get to do for a living. Originally, 15, 20 years ago when I started doing this, so I started promoting things back in the day. I felt it was important to express my form of entertainment to an audience. I had always been a busy bee, busy body, uh, in all the clubs and all the sports and all the theaters, growing up, uh, friends with all the different social groups, like just in general, uh, kind of social butterfly, always friendly. A lot of people would know would come to know me very quickly um, and by know me may be familiar with who I was. It's no shock that in college I exhibited the same traits including when you're evolving from a kid to an adult and you'd end up doing stuff that you've always done for work. Um, putting together groups of people for a, a reason or a cause was like one of my little superhero powers. It was, uh, it was fun. It was great to win a dorm election in college. Um, hey, that's, that's, you know, getting a group together that are pumped up about something new. Um, I started throwing LGBT parties in DC in 2005 at bars, and that was a fun way to, to build an audience and a group of people that knew me and followed me was to create something memorable for people. Um, at some point that, that trickled out of things that I was sharing to everyone, whether it was like a little getaway experience or a party or a product or a brand. Um, back then I was a promoter, uh, people 
called a promoter that was before social media. I, or like before social media became like a legitimate thing. I used to postcard and flyer cars parked around the venues where I would be hosting my events. Like, I crack up over that. I might still do that just for like shits and giggles one day for like a vintage charm. But anyway, um, nowadays with the emergence of social media and its potency and its like real consideration for effects, um, politics has accepted it. Like people, it's like normal. It's no surprise that the platform would be used to market and promote. Um, those of us who have like built platforms in the past, whether it was event marketing platforms or political thought leadership or philanthropy, um, you know, it's the people that make the job and the reason purposeful. So the end product is actually like how it's received by an audience and not like a ginormous pat on the back for like, whoa, 2,000 likes on a photo or um, misleading people. There are definitely some people out there that, that take work to get paid because they worked hard to build a platform or have tried to work hard to do it. Whatever the reason is, it's really like, you know, it's, it's up to us, like those who follow, to decide who we'd like to follow and who we support and whose message we resonates with us. And if you listen, this is how I feel about this, if you listen and get to know the person, kind of why I'm doing this thing, like, hey, welcome to my home, I'm in my PJs, smoking a bowl, listening to my tunes, and telling you how I feel, but... Sorry, this beat's so cute. But seriously, like, if you listen and get to know the person as, as the platform intends it to be, and as, like, someone like myself who... I'm gonna write more about this stuff because, like, the weed and the chatter is just taking me on a little journey here. Um, but I never intended for... to, like... It's just... Too, I haven't intended to be, like, I'm gonna get this many followers. Like, I'm a marketing person. I love goals and I love metrics. But... I'm just being myself and I love sharing my experiences with you guys. I am like a crazy social person. I love meeting people. I love getting to interact with people. I love working with people. I love, love, love helping people. And I love creating. Ah, it's so fun. And the fact that we can do it now digitally all over the world, my audience is all over the place. How fucking cool is that? Ah, so cool. I think it's cool. Um, you can, you can choose to emerge into this profession, influencer, influencer marketing, as, as a more articulate expression of who it is you are ready, or a way to make money, or a way to engineer a strategy behind how you can actually curate something elegant or fun, or presentable, or pretty, or on brand, on tone, on message. We're all different. We all are just being ourselves out there. It is really nice that you guys all tune in. Um, it's a lot of fun to get to know so many of you in this way, because when I was younger, this wasn't an option. Um, you'd have to like travel all over the place to like have these brand new experiences and now we get to connect digitally all the time. So I'm really happy to be nominated for Best Local Influencer for the Best of ABC Awards 50th anniversary. I sincerely believe that you all support me. You have for many years here in DC and I love you all. And I'm so excited that you guys believe in me like this. And if, and if not, like, hey, you're welcome to tune in and get to know me. Or not, no big, no big, seriously. Um, and I'm so happy to keep being, being able to bring you all, like, cool new things that are just something that I love. Something that I love a lot. Or something that I'm enjoying trying, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So 
stay tuned. Voting, voting expires on the 28th of August. I'd love to get your votes. Also, kudos and congratulations to all other of the candidates. Um, everyone's great, we're all friends, and I'm excited to uh, have, another, have another best of under our belt. Take care.